With fall here, I thought it'd be a great time to take some time to talk about how to mix pre-emergent in your lawns. So what you guys will notice today is I've got two backpack sprayers. I got one labeled warm and then one labeled cool. There's a reason for that. Reason is that I'm gonna show you how to mix pre-emergent prodiamine uh, for both cases. So if you got warm season grass like Bermuda, your Zoysia, your St. Augustine, we're gonna have you covered here. And then if you have cool season grass, your rise, your fescue, Kentucky bluegrass, the application rates for pre-emergent are a little bit different. So we are going to discuss that using this backpack sprayer. Before we get into this, but it's important to make sure you're wearing the right safety equipment. So what that means is you wanna wear long pants, like you guys probably see I'm wearing, wearing jeans, long sleeve shirt, gloves, and then because we're gonna be dealing with liquids, it's a good idea to wear eye protection as well. So now, the thing that we're gonna be doing first is, is the cool season pre-emergent. The application rates between these guys are slightly different, which is why I wanted to do a special one just for the cool season people to make sure you guys are covered as well. So some of the things you're gonna need, in addition to the PPE, the safety gear we've already covered, you're going to need a scale, which you can see here, I've got this in front, and for cool season guys, this is gonna be your jam. This, this, and then a measuring cup this is gonna be what you need to get going. So let's get going and, and actually walk through, walk through uh, doing that. For pre-emergent when it comes to the or cool season grass, the application rate is 0.18 or the one I like to use is 0.20 ounces or dry ounces mixed with one gallon of water and that's gonna cover a thousand square feet. So what you'll notice here is that my backpack sprayer is halfway full with water. I've already got it full with halfway full. And that's really important when you're using this product because it tends to settle and you, the idea is that you wanna get it halfway full, get your intermediate mix going and then you know finish filling the, the sprayer up and then go out and spray the lawn. So let's get going with that. So first of all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire up my scale. I'm gonna show you guys here real quick. Get my scale going. And I've got this set for ounces. We're going under the, with the expectation that we're gonna be covering 4,000 square feet. So we're gonna take 0.20 and multiply that by four to get our application rate. So you see here, I've got prodiamine and that's what I'm gonna be using. So right now we're at zero and because it's dry weight, we're just going to, so I can get this right on camera, we'll see here but you're just literally gonna add material. So right now I'm at 0 0.70, it doesn't take a lot. And now we're at 0 0.75 and now almost there and that's 0 0.8. That's what you're gonna use for cool season grass. Now look at this guys, that doesn't look like a whole lot, does it? Look at that, it's not, it's not very much. It doesn't take very much of this for your cool season lawn to get a, to get a great result. So the idea is with this, what we've got here now, 0.8 dry ounces of prodiamine, we would take that and then add that to the tank. Let's put my PPE on here. Open the tank up and we, we'll put this in. And then the idea is now with this in here, we're gonna give this a good shake to get it suspended. So as you can see, there's not very much in there. Close off the backpack sprayer and then we're gonna work on getting this suspended seal it, and then start giving it a good shake. So there's a couple ways of doing this. You can, you can do the technique that I'm doing here. I'm just using just my, just to shake it like this, or you can get a drill, a paint, a paint mixer, anything along those lines to get it suspended. And hopefully it's coming through on camera, but right now this mixture, at least from where I'm seeing, is turning yellow. This this tank has got a lot of got a lot of miles on it, so it might not show on camera for you guys. But in there we've got a nice yellow blend of prodiamine. So now what I would do is I would continue filling this all the way up, put the cap back on, and then give it another shake, and then you are good to go and spray your lawn. Now, when it comes to actually spraying prodiamine or spraying any pre-emergent for that matter, the, the proper spray tip is really important. So let me show you guys that. The tip that you'd wanna use on a flow jet or, or on, on a flow zone or the um, or yard master sprayer, really any backpack sprayer, is a spray tip like this. You'll see this is a flood jet tip. You see this guy is gonna produce a larger droplet size, which is what you want for whenever you're applying pre-emergent. So a larger droplet size, make sure you get the correct tip, and that's what you're gonna to wanna to use whenever you are applying pre-emergent on your, in your lawn. So I would swap that out on here, and then we'd go out and spray. This will cover 
4,000 square feet. When this is completely filled, that, that 0.8 dry ounces of the water dispersible granule of, of prodiamine mixed with four gallons of water is gonna cover 4,000 square feet. And if you guys are looking, interested in links for any of this stuff, there's gonna be links in the description to everything that you guys see I'm using here. So everything from the safety glasses to the measuring cup to prodiamine, it's all gonna be there, all right? So for cool season guys, you are good to go. For warm season, our application rates are gonna be a little bit heavier. So the, the, the rate on prodiamine for, for warm season grass, like uh, your um, St. Augustine, Bermuda, Zoysia, again, it varies, so make sure you consult the label. Um, for Bermuda grass, which we're, we're gonna cover today, the max rate is 0.83 dry ounces annually, all right? But we're not gonna mix at that rate today because we're gonna mix at half that because we're gonna be building basically the concoction that I used last year on the lawn. It's all put together in a product called Coastal. So we're gonna be using again our same old friend, Prodiamine, right? This is gonna be our pre-emergent. But then along with this, we're going to use Image, which is Imazequin. And then we're also going to add some Simazine, also known as another brand named Princep. So these three are gonna to go together in this tank, which is gonna cover our warm season lawns. Now, the question you might be asking yourself is, why would you wanna do that? Why go through all the trouble of not just using prodiamine and why add all this other stuff? Well, one of the weeds that we have problems with in the Southeast United States is Poannua. And while prodiamine is a great pre-emergent, it's very good at preventing, you know, again, crabgrass and even preventing Poa to a, to a large extent, Helping it out with a little bit of post-emergent, meaning adding a little bit of image, a little bit of um, simazine, a little bit of princep to the tank. These are both post-emergent herbicides, meaning that if, if I apply this, if you're watching this, you know, a, a, six, a few weeks from now, a month from now, having some post-emergent herbicide in the, in the tank along with your pre-emergent is gonna knock back and get rid of the POA that may have already germinated. Because remember, prodiamine doesn't really have any reach back as far as killing weeds that have already germinated. All right, so now let's, as far as the application rates we're gonna use today for the, um, for the warm season blend, for prodiamine, we're gonna be applying that at half rate, so 0.4 dry ounces mixed with, a, with, with, four, with a, a gallon of water is gonna cover 1,000 square feet. For image, we're gonna be using a rate of, of two ounces, so two fluid ounces of image. And then for the Princep, we're gonna be applying that at a rate of 0.75 ounces with a gallon of water over 1,000 square feet. So we're gonna multiply all those by four. And if you figure that we take our, our Prodiamine, uh, four times four is gonna be 1.6 dry ounces for our Princep. So 0.75 times four is gonna end up being three fluid ounces. And then finally, for our image, we're gonna take two times four, so two ounces times four, and that's gonna be eight ounces. So let's actually do that now. Let's head over there and work on getting our warm season blend done. So now we're gonna take, what I say, 1.6 ounces, right? 1.6 dry ounces. So we're going to watch our scale ever so carefully as we add the water dispersal granules to the, to the measuring cup. So right there we are at 0 0.85, 0 0.95, one ounce, 1 1.1, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1.5. We're almost there guys, almost there. And 1.6, perfect. All right, so we got 1.6 ounces. This is the half rate for prodiamine. This represents half of your annual limit for warm season grass. So we're gonna take this, get our, our garden mastery spray opened up, and we're gonna add that to the tank. This guy, much like the cool season, is already halfway full with water. Not sure if it's coming through on camera, but I've already filled this already halfway full with water. You wanna do that when you're mixing any kind of products, not just herbicides, not just um, you know, pre-emergent. You wanna make sure that you're, you're filling your tank halfway with, full with water before you add any products. So we'll go ahead and add that now. So there's our prodiamine, it's in there. And now we'll do image. So this guy, remember, we're going to be applying this at two ounces per thousand square feet. So times four, which is what this guy will take, you know, cover 4,000 square feet. We're gonna be ending up putting in eight ounces, eight fluid ounces of this in our measuring cup. So we'll put that down a nice level surface. Actually, we'll give it a good shake here first. Make sure we're good to go. Open this up. And then very, very carefully, very carefully, we will try to put this where you guys can actually see it. You're not gonna be able to, but where I can see it too. We're gonna spray, we're gonna put eight ounces right there. Nice, almost like I've done that before. <laughs> right at eight ounces. We're gonna add that to our tank, like so. 
And then finally, we're gonna take Princep, right, which is our Simazine, the active ingredient in this product in Princep is Simazine and we're gonna do three ounces of that. Now that's gonna be fun to get to with such a large a large jug, but I will do my best here. So three ounces, I can see that on my measuring cup. I'm gonna very carefully pour this, pour this and watch how it goes in. And now we are at three, there we go, nice. So there you go, three fluid ounces, which is again our 0.75 rate times four. We're gonna add that to the tank. Now ideally guys, what you would do as well is if you, if you had a hose out here, if you're doing this, when you're doing this uh, you know, for yourself, is you would get a hose and you would rinse all the contents of this into the tank. Again, I got a bunch of electronics around here, so I'm not gonna run any water, but you would rinse this out and then add this, make sure that all this washes out into the tank, all right? So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our cap back on, make sure this is on nice and good. And much like our Cool Season blend, we're gonna give it a good shake. So, takes off the table. And again, there's a couple ways of doing this. You can get a, a, a mixture if you wanted to go that route, but really, we're just gonna give this. A good blend, good shake. So now, this is our concoction for warm season grass that is gonna both prevent weeds and is gonna take care of some weeds that are already growing in our lawn. So really, really cool stuff. The one I just showed where I mixed prodiamine, simazine, and image in this backpack sprayer, this is for warm season grass only. You can see here, I've got it labeled warm. This guy that only has the uh, prodiamine in it, this is for cool season grass, hence why it's labeled cool. So for cool season grass, all you're gonna wanna use is just prodiamine. For warm season grass, you can do prodiamine along with a bit of post-emergent as well. 